There might be a shadow universe existing around us. It sounds like clickbait, but this is serious particle physics. Dark matter is one of the most serious problems in fundamental physics right now. There seems to be more gravity than there should be for the amount of stuff that we see. So where is all this extra gravity coming from? Well, before everybody in the comments screams about how dark matter is made up and we just need to change how gravity works, go watch the video tagged in the description. One possible answer, which is gaining more support in recent years, is the existence of a dark sector of particle physics. The idea is that, in addition to our normal standard model of particle physics, with quarks and electrons and photons, there are other particles, complete with their own forces, that just don't interact with our particles. Then, one of the only signatures that such a family of particles would have is their gravitational interaction with our world. But there is one possible exception, the dark photon. One of the ways we understand particle physics is via so-called symmetry groups. These are basically mathematical descriptions of the kind of forces that can exist at the fundamental quantum scale. Now, the simplest symmetry group is the one that gives rise to electromagnetism and hence the photon. So the simplest model of a dark sector might be reasonably assumed to also have such a symmetry group, a kind of mirror to our electromagnetism. If so, there could also exist a dark photon. And the behavior of such a dark photon is interesting. If it were massless, like our photon is, dark matter may not behave as we expect it to, because dark matter doesn't seem to collide like regular matter does. On the other hand, if the dark photon had mass, then that opens up a lot more possibilities, including spontaneously transforming into our photon. As an interesting aside, there could be other dark forces, but those can't mix with standard model force carriers. And what's nice about the dark photon hypothesis compared with other dark matter models is that, regardless of the model of dark photon, it really only has a few free parameters. And that means that you can't keep tweaking the model to make it fit the data like you can for supersymmetric models or WIMP models. It's either there or it's not. The best part is, we're closing in on the ability to either detect dark matter in this paradigm or rule it out. And that's exciting.